are backstage at Fun 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 Fest in Austin, Texas. We're very, very excited. Day three, this is the final day, this is the final stretch of everything. We're joined by Alex from Lemuria. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, we're happy to have you here in the Absolute TV Lounge. Uh, fun 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 Fest is uh, such a diverse thing. We've got a little hip hop going on. We're about to have Slayer. So what have you gotten to see here? Because you you, you've actually been able to enjoy most of the festival, right? Yeah, I've been here the whole weekend, so I was very excited to see television. You know, they're one of my favorite bands. Um, a lot of the comedy acts, like Sarah Silverman and Kyle Kinane, they're great. They're kind of like my, you know, ear intermission. You know, I can just take a break from music, go to the yellow tent. Yeah. You know. Well, and your other two members are not with us right now because they're actually working the festival, which I think is really cool because you know, <laughs> it's uh, you might as well do it if you're going to be here all weekend. Yeah, yeah. That's we're here all weekend. Uh, Max actually lives here in town, so he was able. He offered both Sheena and I to. Uh, to work and Sheena was like, I could use the extra money and I was like, I could use the extra money but no, I'm not going to do that. Now uh, another thing we're going to ask, so your third album just came out so uh, I know you're pretty excited getting a tour for that. What can you tell us uh, about the album as the spokesperson? Well it's, uh, yeah, it's called The Distance Is So Big, it came out on Bridge Nine Records this summer and uh, we did like a pretty big summer tour, you know, we went over to England for a couple weeks and did shows there. and. We're gonna just keep touring on it. I mean, we're already writing new music, so we're like, this, these songs were written like last year, so like we're already working on new stuff, but we're so excited. Uh, Jay Robbins from one of my favorite bands, Jawbox, produced it, and just being in the same room with him for like a month straight was like, you know, heart melting. <laughs> Well, it makes you want to get back to it, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and the interesting thing about working on music these days is we're in such an instant gratification world, and you kind of have to work a little quicker than maybe Ben's did years ago. So, yeah. so it's not unreasonable to think that you're already thinking about new music. So will we see an album maybe sometime in this next year? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think our goal would probably be to have a new album by early uh, 2015, actually. Okay. We'll probably record it 2014. We're not, we're ambitious, but not that ambitious, you know. We'll probably do a lot of touring throughout 2014 as well. So what is it like to be in a band now as opposed to when you first started, you know, as a third album as opposed to the first, because it changes oh, every yeah. year. Yeah, I mean, we, the first tour we ever went in, like, I actually had to call promoters to book shows. I would uh, just, like, you know, be on the phone with them. Now, if you try to do that, like, they'd be like, dude, just email me. Like, don't, this is, like, confrontational. Don't call me. So people, Something wrong? Yeah, yeah. So it's completely different. And you know, I remember going on tour with a map. You know, like I'd actually like look in an atlas, and then we'd have to like pull over to a gas station and buy like the local city. Like where the where the hell is? Sorry, uh, where is this venue? You know, and um, so now it's like you just you just plug it in your phone. Yeah. Set it up there on the little handle thing, and you don't you know. GPS will just tell you where to go. It's so so different. Easier but harder because like it's more convenient to be a band now, but it's so, you're because it's so convenient, there's so many more bands and yeah, like like you were saying earlier, it's there's you have to move faster. Otherwise you just kinda get lost. Yeah, absolutely. But you guys have been able to get the music out there, people are really picking up on it, so congratulations on everything. Cool, thank and, you. And uh, what can we uh, look forward to next? I know you'll be touring a lot next year and then thinking about new music, but is there anything else we need to know about? Um, we'll be going to uh, Australia for the first time in February, along with a couple of Southeast Asian dates in uh, Indonesia and Malaysia. So that's going to be kind of mind-blowing for us. You ever been to that part of the world? I've been to Indonesia and uh, Sing Singapore before, but I've never been to Australia. Uh, that's yeah. exciting. And I, I wasn't touring, so like, that's going to be, you know, it's just yeah. going to be a really wild experience for us. It's interesting to know that you have uh, all the people out there uh, looking forward to seeing you too. That's got to be a cool feeling. Yeah, so far away. Going as a tourist first time, and then next time you go in and people are ready for you. So yeah, congrats so. on that. That's great. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, stay tuned for more back here in the Absolute TV Lounge, backstage at Fun 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 Fest, Austin, Texas, day three.